Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. So, once again today I will be reacting to uh, the issue between Will Smith and Chris Rock. But today it is a reaction of other comedians when they found out exactly what happened. So, without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. So you ran into Chris yeah. at the after party. Yeah, bro. So it was pretty wild. So Spade took me over to the, um, who actually is from Arizona. Shout out. I think he's from Scottsdale. Hey. Uh, so Spade invited me to be his his uh, guest or whatever. We went to the um, Vanity Fair party. And then we went to some other dude, a rich guy's house. This dude was really, really rich. Like How'd they had you know? a machine in the front, you could just get money out of it. It was just like it was an ATM, oh, okay. but you could guess any number, and it gave you. It was like this dude was real, real rich. Like yeah, they had even his dog had like a little wallet on the side. Damn. <laughs> wow. So this dude was really, really rich, and we went in and like jennifer lawrence is sitting in the back just hanging out outside like just in her pajamas she like lived next door i guess and so she came over because she heard some commotion or whatever so she's out back just hanging out like there's like pelinope pelinope cruise uh fancy people i mean yeah. it's like fancy people you see on the magazine and they're just sitting there you know eating you know they had some raviolis um what else did they have they had a salad that looked it was a little wilt. I thought it was a little bit wilted, but people were eating it. Mm. Rich people will eat. They'll eat kind of more. They'll say it's like uh, more artistic kind of. But anyway, so we get to finally see Chris Rock, right? And so, and I'm with David Spade, so Spade knows him. So yeah, they're just kind of talking, and he was just shocked. He was like, what the fuck <laughs> happened? He's almost, he, it reminded me of, you ever been at a party and somebody gets hit by somebody, and then the person that hit him leaves? And there was never really like a big fight, or maybe there even was a fight. But the one dude never had any idea there was any beef or anything going on. Yeah. And then you start talking to that guy, and he's like, "Bro, what the fuck happened? Like, what? What do you think? You know?" That's kind of what it was. He was just like, "What the fuck?" So did happened? he not know that she had alopecia or whatever disease? That's why she was bald. Did he not know that? I think he had no clue. I think so he that had no make... clue. And who don't have alopecia? Everybody's going bald. You want to hear something funny? I, I saw a tweet that said it wasn't even Rock's joke. It was one of the writers. That's so oh, good. What do you think he's doing backstage? <laughs> so After the fuck? writer just like, Ugh. Well, well, here's the thing. Yeah. The writer probably thought of way worse jokes about infidelity and was like, let's go with something mild. Dude, yeah. she's wearing a green, like a military green outfit. Fresh. Yeah. And yeah. is she going to be in G.I. Jane? <laughs> yeah, no, no. They're not making another GI Jane. No, no, she's not doing this for a role. Love you, man. What? <laughs> what do you mean? I still can't what do you mean? Serious. No, no. She's doing it because she has alopecia. Yeah, she's losing her hair. Yeah, yeah, which is apparently a huge deal. I had no idea. Every person at the Oscars well. has fake hair. Every yeah. person in this room is losing their hair. Yeah, yeah. Shouts to Keeps. Yeah. Yeah. But no, for real. Like, if there's one place where you can wear like wigs and fake hair and all that kind of stuff, it's the like every girl there probably has extensions. Yeah, but she and... wanted to be proud. She wanted to come out and say, "Yo, this is my hair." Well, then keep it a buck. Be proud, <laughs> yo. Yeah. You don't go and sit in the front row. You're a star yeah. at the Oscars. There's a professional comedian whose job yes. is to roast people. That's what he's doing. And what he did was not even insulting. It's not about... It was a mild joke. That was not an insult. It was the most mild joke about her hairstyle. I fully get it. In reference to a movie where a lady shaved it. her head. I fully get it. But like, I'm, the I'm idea just simply that saying any it, justification right. whatsoever of him getting up there and no. smacking him in the face. No. But Fancy's not losing his hair the way that Carlos is. He's like the Mexican Larry David. He's like Luis David. Good ginger, man. <laughs> <laughs> he is. And Carlos is... Uh, what are you doing? What you <laughs> Keep Carlos's name out of your fucking mouth. Dude, it was like a Mexican Larry David joke. I was Keep Carlos's name out of your you fucking, fucking mouth. mouth. <laughs> okay, dude. When I first saw it, I was like, yeah. Cause he bumped me twice. Oh, Chris Rock. It was Chris Rock. Friday and Saturday. I wasn't able to go up. <laughs> Nothing he, no, he's a nice guy. I'm just saying. There was a little part of it was like, Dad, yeah, you know, don't bump. You know what I mean? And then Eric made a little meme of the slab. Is that don't be bumping people in the OR. You know what I mean? So um, it was just funny. But when you really think about it, because it was a moment um, after Will said, don't ever fucking talk about my a couple times. He said that. Um, where Chris, I know that look because I've been there. It's a moment of shock. Yeah. 
and tra- trauma. It was traumatic. Um, yeah, right. He was assaulted um, in front of millions and trillions of people. I mean, not millions of people watch the but virally i mean you're talking about the world saw it mm-hmm. the whole world russian saw it. putin saw it <laughs> i bet you mutton putin saw it what do you think weighs more no oh my chris no. rock or the hair in the shower drain <laughs> 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 he was doing back. some weird movie thing. It was like he he was hmm. getting away with it as if he was living in a fictional movie. Hmm. Like That's the idea that you think it's smart while wearing a tuxedo to walk onto a stage in front of the world, hmm. like literally the world, one of the hmm. biggest award shows on earth, if not the biggest, and smack a comedian for the most yes. mild joke, and then sit there quivering, saying, With keep anger, my yeah. wife's name out of your fucking mouth, and everybody's just gonna sit there in the shit that you just took on the table. You just yeah. pulled your pants down and took a shit on the dinner table, and they all have just sit there and look at that. That's what it's like. A shit yes. with, full of peanuts and corn and everything. It stinks. <laughs> it's just the whole idea behind I it mean, is completely irrational. But what I'm saying is like these people live in this fake world of, you know, you're you're protected by guards. You're driven by limos. You're on the red carpet. You know, like all of it is crazy life. I and agree. he's so goddamn famous and so so removed from regular discourse and interaction with regular people that he, for whatever reason, in his head, acted like he's a character in a movie. Yeah, yeah. There was a guy, there was a guy, uh, a writer there, and I remember him saying, I don't think that it was real. And I'm like, I don't think the acting could be that great. No <laughs> way, bro. Um, good so, good. Yeah, then we ended up at the party, and then Rock was there, which I thought was a cool movie. He's at the party. He's not, like, ducking anything, you know? <laughs> I think he thought it was really weird. He didn't look, like, affected. He didn't have, like, a little cast on his jaw or nothing. <laughs> Imagine me and Collette are in the audience. We'll never go there, but... We'll never. Yeah, but Certainly let's not front we stage. And Chris goes, look at Collette with her heart defect or something, right? Yeah. And people are laughing, right? There's something worse about my um, my um, the way I look. Not so much. Look, Stanley. Dan, Bobby Lee is dating Stanley Tucci. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Stanley Tucci's here, right? Right. And I, I kind of laugh, <laughs> right? And I look over, and you're upset, right? I, I would look. What back. if he said this? Yeah, Even yeah. worse. Okay, go ahead. I'm in the audience. Yeah. She looks so much like Stanley Tucci. He hasn't fucked her in two years. <laughs> No, you have to look upset. <laughs> and I look back up here, and I look at you, and I go, <laughs> "We're on TV, smile, bitch." <laughs> we're on TV, bitch. <laughs> There's billions of people, bitch. We're, we, we're millionaires, bitch. You mean you can take that? That's true. I now, question, that. guys. I Jada Pinkett Smith's uh, hair condition. You think that's actually alopecia, or it's all like the R and B singers just rubbing her head? Oh, oh my god! What? They said that her head is like the new log from the Apollo. Gross. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you thought I was gonna give all the roast jokes in the intro? <laughs> Come on, so we gotta have a couple leftovers for a conversation. Oh you want that? You can have a career. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's what happened right afterwards. He won the Academy Award, then goes up and does a speech. The whole thing was so bizarre, and it made me think, like, how many other human beings could be in a similar situation and pull mm. that off? Not like, many. Like, if a man walked on stage and smacked a woman. Not, that would not fly. Oh. Would not fly. Not fly. If a woman walked on stage and smacked another woman, I don't even think it would fly. I yeah. would love to see if The Rock said something instead of Chris Rock. Then is it, <laughs> keep my wife's name out of your mouth? I'm going to give you one. What if it was? What if it was Jimmy Kimmel? What if it was a white dude? What if it was Ricky? Ricky Gervais. Uh, Will Smith ain't hitting him, yo. Yeah, that's probably right. Will Smith, yeah. What do you think, Al? Ricky I don't Gervais. think he's hitting him. I don't know. I he think Will was fed up. I think I, the this, next. And I, like, this is the thing. I think Will. It could have been anybody. I, I think, think Will was fed up, and then he took it out on somebody he knew he could get away exactly. with taking it out. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why it's so pussy to me. He's known him for like twenty-five years. He's like, but he's also made jokes. I want to make a point about that. He did make jokes in the past. I want to make another point. Nobody in that room was rooting for Chris Rock. What do you mean? Keep this in mind. All the people in that crowd have been made fun of by Chris Rock for the last decade. These are people who live in their own little Hollywood bubbles. Mm. Nobody ever mm. gives them pushback. Nobody ever teases them. Nobody ever says nothing to these people. They don't have a sense of humor. Mm-hmm. You go see these shows, and they're like groaning about all these jokes and then applauding when the joke is virtuous, right? Yeah. yeah. 
they see every, they have to go to these events because they want the public uh, applause. Yeah. They want the public validation, but they know that they're going to get caught in the crosshairs from a Chris Rock joke and it drives them crazy and they were happy. Did you see the way Samuel Jackson dapped up Will Smith Man, what a afterwards? Fucking loser, Did you see the way dog. that Denzel and hey, Bradley hey, Cooper? Hey, hey, watch it, watch it. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying. Hey, Denzel a loser, dog. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, chill, 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 and then I'm sure at a certain point, I bet it was very close quarters when the energy probably changed in his mind. He's like, oh, this is not a joke. What do I do? Do you think Rock did the best thing that he could have done? Yes. Well, he literally, his new tour is called Ego Death. Antonio Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Getting slapped at the no. Oscars and not doing nothing? Mm. You can't have an ego about that, bro. Mm. And he can't even come back and make jokes about Will. Yes, he can. Yes, you can. There's, so there's two types of black people. <laughs> <laughs> there's black people and then there's Will Smith. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Every time black people want to have a good time, Will Smith come and fuck it up. Yeah, I that's remember good. that joke. Keep going. Yeah, that's that's good. Good. I know Yo, that joke. Will Smith always wants some credit for some shit you're supposed to do. <laughs> I protect my family. You're supposed to. You're <laughs> <mother. laughs> I call you I one for fifth mind. I hate Will Smith. <laughs> The media. Oh, you think when I'm at the Oscars, I'm looking at the audience for the media? No, I'm looking for Will Smith. <laughs> it was a, a rare instance where someone joke. is so enormously famous oh. and successful like Will Smith that they literally still allowed him to not just win the Academy Award, but also go up and accept it and give a speech after he assaulted a small comedian Yeah, they should have ejected stage. him. They should have ejected him from the show. 100%. 100%. I agree with that. You don't just you can't just go smack a man in the face in front of the world and then go about business as usual. First of all, it sets a terrible precedent. Yes. In in, in so many that different ways. It sets a terrible precedent for comedy movie. clubs. Yes. Like are people gonna yes. decide that they're gonna go on stage and Ooh, smack the comedian? I now? hope they try to smack Brendan or you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to see one Joe Rogan turning sidekick. <laughs> yeah. Chuggy, <laughs> I I don't I don't necessarily think people are going to change their behavior, but dumb people might. But also, it's just like, what are we saying as a society when the the people that we look up to for whatever reason, for good or for bad, mm -hmm. we look up to actors. Yes, and and the Academy Awards is supposed to be them in their most regal, their most regal outfits, yeah. their best behavior, yeah. and yeah. to drop down to violence for something so innocuous as a G.I. Jane joke. What rematch would you rather see? Masvidal versus Colby or Rock versus Smith? <sighs> Rock versus Smith, probably, just because I don't know how that plays out, but Colby versus Jorge, I think, I mean, I think that plays out pretty similar to yeah. how it played out the first time. Yeah, I agree. Well, how much bigger is Will than Chris? I think at least 50 pounds. I know that, Oof. how tall is Chris? You mind checking that out? How tall is Chris Rock? 5'10". Wow. I wonder if either can scrap. Will Smith is six one and a half. <laughs> did you measure him at the Oscars? I looked it up. Oh, I oh, you did? And then I got bored of looking it up because I was trying to figure out the weights or whatever, and I just went to sleep. And here's what comedians <laughs> had to say on Twitter. Tim Dillon said, Okay, but also, and this must be said, that was all great television. From the slap to the speech. Before that, the Oscars was incredibly boring and tame. We found the formula. A rocky marriage, a violent attack, a redemption arc. What a show. Uh, Andrew Santino said, It's a comedian's responsibility to always know their audience, and that includes everyone's medical history, likes, and dislikes. <laughs> Bert Norman tweeted about 600 times since this happened, but two of my favorites were, Thank God Chris Rock didn't take a shot at Alec Baldwin, and also, I bet Chris Rock is having a real jerk store moment right now. The ocean call? They're running out of shrimp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I said to him, Oh, yeah? Well, the jerk store called, and they're running out of you. Really? That's great. You said that to him? <laughs> well, actually, I, I thought it up on the way over here. <laughs> oh, that's not quite the same. No, <laughs> it's not. You don't know this guy. Though. It would have been so sweet. Tom Segura, I thought, was a little soft on Will Smith. All he had to say was, fuck Will Smith's candy ass smacking a dude four inches shorter and 50 pounds lighter. He's just in his feelings because his bald-headed bitch been fucking around on him for years and he takes it. We all know who he wishes he could have slacked. Yes! 
slapped hashtag cuck will. He also tweeted these four pictures of her bald ass head and said, this bitch been bald, jokes about it or her are fine. It was Tame AF, you are super sensitive about it, buy a fucking wig. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> Sam Morell said, Will Smith just won an award for being the best actor, but he couldn't act like a human being during a joke. And he also said this was the biggest hit Will Smith has been involved in since the 90s. That's so, bang on! All around um, crazy so, thing that happened. That was comedian reacting to Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. And, you know, Akash stole the fucking show. Bang fucking on because he turned the whole joke of Chris Rock onto black people and Will. Such a brilliant, brilliant flip. That was such a brilliant joke. I fell in love because I've seen Akash do the crowd work and it is really, really good. And that stole the show. And I'm so much looking forward to what Tom Segura have to say because I know he also did a video about it. Well, somebody asked him a question about it and I know he definitely fucking roast the shit out of Will Smith. And everything Joe Rogan said is bang on point. And uh, the fact that uh, somebody said uh, maybe if it was uh, Ricky Gervais, he wouldn't have slept. I've got feeling I don't think you can touch Ricky Gervais because have you seen the fucked up shit he says about people? He don't give a fuck who you are. As long as it's a joke, he don't give a flying fuck at all. So that joke, Gia Jane, compared to what Ricky Gervais would have said, is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It is not even a fucking joke in his eyes because that's how brutal Ricky Gervais is. So the whole thing is absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love that every comedian understand you don't go on a fucking stage and slap another comedian. You just don't do it. Leave the fucking comedian out of this. They're here to tell you a joke. So fucking shut the fuck up and don't do shit. You know what I mean? I really do feel angry when I uh, watch this because it is really make me go nuts. Like, but still, that was brilliant. I really loved it. I hope you did too. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.